Good morning. In a time of hyper-individualism, what does God promise his people? Let's take a look. Jeremiah 3, verses 15 through 18. And I will give you shepherds according to my heart, who will feed you with knowledge and understanding. Then it shall come to pass, when you are multiplied and increased in the land in those days, says the Lord, that they will say no more, the ark of the covenant of the Lord. It shall not come to mind, nor shall they remember it, nor shall they visit it, nor shall it be made any more. At that time Jerusalem shall be called the throne of the Lord, and all the nations shall be gathered to it. To the name of the Lord, to Jerusalem, no more shall they follow the dictates of their evil hearts. In those days the house of Judah shall walk with the house of Israel, and they shall come together out of the land of the north to the, to the land that I have given as an inheritance to your fathers. See that God doesn't uh, want his people just dangling out there as individual atoms. That's one of our problems today. We're in a very individualistic society, very lonely, separated, totally separated from each other uh, kind of a culture right now. And actually, that's the seedbed for the coming of big totalitarian regimes historically. So we don't want that. But what we want to do is be on God's side and we want to be able to return to him. So he calls us, he will give us shepherds if we're faithful. Notice not one shepherd, you know, not just a pope or something like that. He has multiple shepherds, multiple leaders. And the church is always at its best when there are multiple uh, people working together, the Holy Spirit leading several hearts. And so that's what we, we have a lot of committees in a lot of our churches. And uh, we need to have spiritual, godly people on those committees so the Holy Spirit can work through each one. And so God doesn't just have one person. One is a very narrow bandit. If the devil can get one or two people off, he can do great damage. So God works through many. And that's his plan right here. So he gives shepherds, plural. But now there's this interesting business about the Ark of the Covenant. So the Ark was the center of God's plan to cleanse his people from sin. And uh, here he says, we won't even be looking at the Ark anymore. Well, you might remember the Ark. It was in the most holy place and above the Ark, between the two cherubim, these, the uh, statues of angels would be this Shekinah glory shining there, the symbol of God's presence. But we know that all of this was uh, arranged in a way that was, in a sense, temporary because God himself planned to come and be reunited with his people very directly. And so when that day would come, when we we're all united in the right way, we won't be uh, too worried about the ark. We won't be worried about the symbols or anything because we'll be with God himself. Go and read Revelation chapter 21 and see what that's going to be like. Uh, there are beautiful, extraordinary days ahead. And uh, But anyway, staying with this right now, God is calling his people. He wants us to come together. And he envisions this, this time when people will be coming out of the nations, coming together, even Israel and Judah, those that are left out of the remnant will come together and he'll have his people. They won't follow the dictates of their uh, evil hearts because God will, God will have changed us. So we want to be available to him wherever we are in this track. We want to be ready to hear the shepherds God gives us, shepherds after his own heart. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, bless your people. Watch over us. Show us the way. Uh, we need shepherds. We're not just to be individual floating out there, uh, doing our own thing. But Lord, we need to be uh, following God-led people, people that you are their leader and let them be our leaders. This is part of your plan, Lord. We didn't think it up. You, it's your plan. So bless us this way. Please help us to be able to receive shepherds that are shepherds after your own heart and lead us, Lord. Help us to come to that time when we are face to face in glory with you and uh, the symbols and pictures for all their goodness, are replaced with the reality. Please, Lord, we look forward to those days. Bless your people. Guide us. Be our guide. Be our, our chief shepherd, we ask in Jesus' name. Amen. After the long history of, of backsliding and apostasy, you'd think that by now God would have just given up on these people. But no, his mercy is long. His patience is long. Help us to come back. You have a wonderful day serving the Lord Jesus, wherever you are, whatever your work is, whatever your tasks today, go with the Lord.